so and so. That's just your opinion, dude. Exactly. You know who would win? Honestly, is whoever the writer wanted to win. Like, stop. But anyway, <laughs> hidden gem. Um, what you got this week, dude? All right. Actually, um, because of the season, yep. I got two. All right. Um, and one from Marvel. Yep. One from DC. All right. So here we go. The first one is, you know, everybody knows them, mm. but I don't think that everybody understands the depth in the in the width of this guy, right? Okay. So the first one from Marvel. Yep. Is this the Christmas one? This is the Christmas one. Okay. This is we've the been Christmas waiting one, for right? for weeks. This is the Christmas one. This is my man, Saint Nick. Saint the fat Nick. man. Okay. Santa Claus. Dude, right? I had a <laughs> last <laughs> you, you, you night. Can't, you gotta you gotta do Santa Claus, man. Dude. Came around in Marvel in nineteen fifty five, <laughs> dude. He's um he's got many aliases, like I said, Saint Nick, the fat yep. man, you know, all these other names and stuff. You know, we, we kinda like kinda like, you know, dumb him down a little bit, his power. But okay. Cerebro, so it, it kinda started with uh the x-men x-men at the at the mansion they putting together you know the christmas tree wolverine all in colossus and all these people yep. right when cerebro goes ape shit, right it registers at the time the most powerful mutant ever okay right and it turns out to be this dude right saint <laughs> um santa claus um santa claus we know i mean obviously he can also on christmas he can be pretty much everywhere within mm. one night yeah okay but that's only one of his powers. Okay. Okay. So immortality, right? He can fit himself, obviously, into any space, himself mm -hmm. and other things, not just himself, right? right? Because remember, he's got that big bag. Yeah. He's right? going to get in the chimney. Yeah. Um, levitate. He can alter his appearance. Um, the two biggest things is that, I mean, obviously, he has, he has telepathy, you know, the good and the bad thing. Yeah. Right? Good boy, bad boy thing. Mm -hmm. Teleportation. He can teleport himself. He can teleport other people or objects, yep. right? Um, and the biggest thing is that he's a reality warper. He can literally do that little whole motion with the nose and the wink, <laughs> winking and all that. He can literally do anything. I mean, Santa on a bad day, he can destroy the entire universe and then recreate it all over again. I mean, this dude is powerful. Yeah. I mean, he is the man. Now, besides that, right, The uh, his bag Right when he reaches in his bag, yep. you ever wonder what that was? Hmm. Tesseract. Okay. T tesseract that opens a portal to a, a storage dimension where he can go and he can reach in and grab whatever he wants. Got it. That's why That's he can move. That's how he has move. enough toys exactly. for everyone. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So um, then on top of that, you know, he's got the sleigh. He's got the magic reindeers. Yep. The elves are magic. Mm. They're almost immortal, right? They're actually descendants of as um, as guardian elves, right? Yeah. Some of them have their own powers and everything. So not only is he uh, magic, right? He had, has all these powers, but he's also surrounded himself with other things and other people that are also as powerful. Yeah. So that's the Christmas one, wow. right? Do that. Hold, we got, I got to pause there. That yep. I'm mind blown right now, dude. <laughs> I so I I did not look up. Christmas characters. When you said this, I'm like, I want to be surprised. Uh huh. And then last night, I'm watching Batman Returns, and I'm mm -hmm. thinking, dude, who's he gonna have as his, um, you know, Christmas hidden gem? Mm -hmm. And then part of me was like, is there any way like Santa Claus is gonna? I'm like, he, mm -hmm. he's not a kid. Like, no, you know. And, and I, I, but I didn't, even, I didn't want to look it up because I didn't want right. to be, I didn't want to spoil this. Mm -hmm. And sure, shit, sure, it's fucking Santa Claus. Yep, yep. He's classified as a mutant, too, dude. He's right? like Omega level. Oh, oh, definitely Omega level. I mean, really, reality warping. That's like, um, like um, um, Richards, um, yeah, Reed, Reed Richards, Richards song. Yeah. Um, he can literally do anything. Yeah, anything. I mean, it just so happens that you know he's a jolly guy. He can do all this kind of stuff. But I mean, again, Santa yeah. on a bad day. Uh, is bad for everybody. I just, I'm going to change one of my <laughs> statements on agree to disagree. This is going to be that? a good one. I can't even tell you yet. I'm going uh, to have okay. to. Or maybe I'll add one extra. Yep. All I'm right. Gonna, I'm going to add a one. Well, while you're doing that, um, the second one. All right. So, DC. It's 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 crazy. I mean, it's, it's like we've been on this Marvel trip, right? Mm -hmm. Because DC... They do such a poor job of making. They they have very good iconic figures, yes. right? But they don't have that 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 width that of, of characters right. that uh, Marvel has, right? So, come to find out, 
Um, and talking about relationships, like I said that, um, you know, a lot of characters was introduced to me through the X-Men and so on and so forth. So this next person, um, is being introduced through one of those DC iconic characters, right? Okay. So who would have known Wonder Woman, that's not the hidden gem, (laughs) has a twin brother, right? Never knew that, no. So Wonder Woman's mother, um, Hippolyta, right? When she gave birth to, to Diana... She actually had twins that night. Okay. Right? And because no male can be on um, Themyscira, Mm -hmm. they actually took the boy off the island and gave him to um, a friend to raise. Now, this friend, the the reason that he got involved or even got selected was he's actually immortal. He was a regular guy. He was a fisherman, right? It's kind of like the... the, um, kind of like a Superman, Aquaman kind of a story yeah. where, you know, he was raised by some normal person, e- even though the guy wasn't normal. He was actually immortal. Okay. Um, he wasn't like a war god or anything, but he was like a fisherman, and but he was immortal, and he had to move around every hundred years or so because, obviously, you know, people were like, hey, wasn't you your grandfather, grandfather, grandfather? So they, the women, the warriors of uh, Themyscira gave – the um, Diana's brother, Jason, that's, mm-hmm. that's what they call him, Jason. He goes by the name Jason Prince or Prince Jason. Um, they gave him to this fisherman to raise. Okay. And, you know, as he grew, he found out about his power, so on and so forth. And this guy, what was his name? Glaucus. 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 Okay. G-L-A-U-C-U-S or something like him. that. That's the guy who raised him, yeah. right? He's the immortal with no other talents other than fishing. Okay. He's just a regular guy. <laughs> Well, so the kid grew, grows up, um, Jason grows up, and um, he finds out about his powers, right? And Glock is just like, you know, um, Superman's uh, Earth father. Hey, you know, don't show nobody. Mm-hmm. Just, just stay normal. Yep. You're a kid. You know, you don't you want to show everybody, right? Right. Um, so he, he maintains that for a while. Um, at some point, uh, Diana, she learns about the, the brother at some point, but kind of don't believe it. Mm-hmm. But then when Hercules, because Darkseid comes and kills, Darkseid or Darkseid's daughter comes and kills Hercules, yeah. Hercules leaves a will, leaves everything to Diana, and through this letter, he fi- she finds out about the brother that um, sure. she never knew about but had yeah. kind of heard of, right? Okay. He also leaves a map for her to, fo- to find him. So he goes, she goes and finds him. Yeah. They immediately, you know, uh, feel this bond, this brother sister bond. But he's pissed off because he knows that that's his sister, right? But he's pissed off because she was raised as a princess on this island with all these, you know, all the glamour and all this other kind of stuff. Mm. And he was raised by a fisherman in isolation. So he's pissed off about that, right? So he actually sets her up, Wonder Woman, Diana, yeah. up to be killed by Darkseid's daughter. Oh, shit. So they go to, into this whole battle and stuff, and eventually they get over it. But, um, you know, he's, 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 you know, jealous, yeah, pissed off, and all this other kind of stuff. Now, um, he, he has, he looks just like her, the, the, the male version of her, you yeah. know, the black hair with the blue eyes, uh, same kind of power sets. Now, he is, they are the daughter, the, the son and daughter of Zeus. You know, Zeus going around, you know, Screwing everybody. Yeah, shit, sure, right? man. He don't, he don't play. Um, so he's got kids everywhere. Yeah. Um, he's oh, like by Nick, the way. He's like Nick Cannon almost. <laughs> Dude, that's, that's, that's low. That's true, true. It's true, but low. right? Yeah. But um, so Hercules, when he was growing up, um, Glaucus um, is Hercules' friend before he dark side kills him, right? Okay. So he, he was actually trained as a combatant by Hercules. Yeah. So when he was younger, you know, keeping on the on the down low and stuff, but um, has the the kind of the same power power set, so he can fly, right? Um, strength. Um, he's not as strong as super uh, as Wonder Woman. Yeah. But um, he has you know near her strength. Okay. He obviously so Wonder Woman was actually trained on Themyscira yeah. as a warrior. So he also doesn't have her combat skills, even though he has some combat skills. Okay. Because if he wasn't trained by Hercules, he wouldn't have any combat skills. Right. Because he was a fisherman. Yeah. You yeah. know, his father, quote unquote, was not a warrior, right? Yeah. 
so he can control weather. He can actually turn into like of ele- the elements. Like he, uh, when he was fighting, when a Wonder Woman, when Wonder Woman was fighting Darkseid's daughter, he actually turned into a tsunami oh, shit. and crashed down on top of Wonder Woman. Yeah. Right. Um, so he can turn into vapor, things like that. He can control what the weather. Yeah. He can um, yield uh, wield lightning. Who went in a fight? Him or his sister? Um, uh, his sister. Yeah. Oh yeah, I definitely think because because he doesn't have the Wonder Woman has fought like hundreds or thousands yeah. of people, yeah. you know, including Ares, right. you know, the God of War himself. I mean, she still can't beat the X Men, but we know, we know how y'all feel about that, <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> but uh, yeah, definitely, uh, she would win a, okay. in a fight Be- simply because she has the combat experience. Yeah. Um. So I was I was surprised, man, that this guy even existed. And mm-hmm. this is one of those. This is a true hidden gem because I had to go digging for this guy. Yeah. Right. Because DC, not only they do they do a bad job of you know uh, propping up their their icons. Right. Right. They do a bad job of not letting the public know about you know characters like this guy. Right. I mean, his power set is pretty pretty good. Yeah. You know, I would probably rate him. You know, as like a eight or so, eight or eight point five. Okay. Now, my man Santa on the on the Marvel side, right? You know, he would be like a ten. Oh, he's smashing. Definitely this a ten. Guy. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. But this is one of those characters that they can very easily bring out into pretty much anything. Right. You know, he's already got the um, the recognition of being. I mean, who wants to be the the brother of somebody else? Especially but Wonder Woman. He, like, especially yeah. Wonder Woman. But that's I like mean, being the brother. That's like being Rob Kardashian. <laughs> Oh my god! Dude. <laughs> I'm just saying, right? Yeah. You got your sisters are up here, dude, and you're the guy who makes socks. Like, come on. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, but um, they can. I mean, they can bring this guy out in pretty much anything. Yeah. Um So I'm just surprised that he hasn't, you know, seen more stuff or been, you know, subtly brought out in yeah. more things. Um, you know, crossing into other DC. Things you know coming up on the big screen. I mean, mm-hmm. nowhere, or even nowhere. their animated movies. Like this, he, he sounds like someone that would be perfect for the DC animation movies. They, Absolutely, they bring. I mean, they do a good job with their Justice League movies, yep. and bringing in the side characters. I mm-hmm. mean, they did the Justice League Dark. You got your boy Constantine in there, right? This, that would be that'd be a good story because I feel like in those in those movies. You know, Batman gets a lot of shine. Mm-hmm. Aquaman does. He had his Throne of Atlantis movie. Superman's always there, right? Wonder Woman's there, but I feel like she doesn't get as, like, she hasn't had a really good arc in those movies. Right. This would be a cool little story to add to that. Right. Um, dude, and I was just thinking, Hercules is their dad. I never knew, or Zeus is their father, not Hercules. Zeus, yeah. Dude, so that means Diana and, and this kid, Jason, they have all kinds of brothers and siblings out there. Oh, absolutely. And absolutely. Dude, that family reunion must be crazy. Well, See, um, like even Hercules is like is their cousin brother? or yeah. something like that, right? So, um, but yeah, Zeus has got impregnated all kinds of women, not yeah. just you know the 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 um because the women on Themyscira they're like uh demigods, yeah, right. And so he's not only screwing them, but he's you know earth just regular women. <laughs> right. So he's got kids everywhere. Oh, so he, he's you know? more like Carl Malone. He's not even Nick Cannon. That's like, he's the mailman, bro. He's, holy shit. Uh, he is not playing. Right? But, um, so besides that, he has um, this spear uh, that was forged by one of the gods. He can make that appear and reappear yeah. when, at will. He was given this armor that was actually made for Diana. Okay. But the gods decided to give it to him, which um, is, is permanently attached to his body. I guess he can make it appear reappear as okay. needed um but it makes him you know pretty much impregnable um impenetrable yeah. impregnable eh, probably not Maybe a good both. word to use here <laughs> um so he has like a lot of so besides the power set yeah right um which i think you know like like his ability to change into other elements and you know wield like the weather i mean that makes her, him kind of more powerful than mm-hmm. diana yeah but I think the thing that Diana has over him is the combat experience. Gotcha. Right. Um, so he, so he's kind of like, oh, the the armor also gives him the ability to recreate in himself the power of any of the gods of the pantheon. So he can have the strength of Hercules, yeah. the wisdom of whoever, of uh, the speed of Hermes, mm-hmm. all of this stuff. So I mean, somebody like that. It's almost like he's 
too powerful to bring out. Yeah. But, I mean, they're bringing out people like, you know, the Supermans and the Aquamans and stuff like that. They could showcase this kid. Yeah, yeah. You know? So that's 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 my guy for this week. Okay. And, uh, as you know, as I'm going down this, this trail, I'm seeing, you know, other DC characters that I can probably pull up to. Okay. So I, I'll probably be on DC a little bit more, oh, yeah, but I was just DC surprised. Streak? Well, not necessarily a DC streak, but <laughs> we can definitely pull out more um, than we have. Yeah. Only because, I mean, because you got to, you got to like, you know, like a hacker, you got to like break into, <laughs> right. into DC's vault of, yep. of characters and find some gem mm-hmm. and then pull it out because they're not being, you know, they're not, you know, being for, you know, forthcoming right. with their character. So it's, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, well, no, this was a good one, dude. This was this was definitely up there. Um, and if you like either one of these, I mean, how could you not like Santa Claus, right? Right. But check out the Hidden Gem playlist to see a, a laundry list of um, mm-hmm. past Hidden Gems that Adrian supplied us here on Only Comics. So, good work, dude. I'm, I'm liking this. Yep. I'm just, you know, you you are educated here on Only Comics because I learned today that Santa Claus is a comic, is a superhero. Yeah. Like, and it all makes now it makes more sense how he's able to do all that in one night. Right. I always wondered about that. Like, I just had chalked it up to magic. But he's, I mean, he's got special powers. And he's an Omega-level mutant that was created Omega. by Cerebro. <laughs> Cerebro. Right. Um, well, there, there you have it for our hidden gem. 